uh, regrettably, uh, uh, many in the print uh, and broadcast media, uh, many who are vested with the responsibility of having exceptional prosecutorial powers handed to them by the legislature, by our Constitution, uh, have misused that. And they have misused that to vilify me, to uh, assassinate my character, yeah. to deal uh, with uh, a total disregard uh, for my family's rights to privacy, uh, and my own property rights uh, as well have, have been violated. But understand that this Jibarito from Cuamo, Puerto Rico, oh. hey. Hey. 50 years ago in the South Bronx, we knew what environment we were entering. We knew fully well. Our parents knew fully well. Nuestros abuelitos conocían muy bien. La calle. Y la calle y la street y todo el ambiente que lo iba a perjudicarnos. We know too well about discrimination. We know too well about xenophobia. If you look brown and you're an immigrant, you're not supposed to have power. Terrenzo, we're not supposed to. We're not supposed to speak clear English like you and I. Oh, my broken English is going to hurt. Yeah. And so, and so, but we're clear. If you can't understand us, we're clear in our mission. We're very clear in our mission, and that is why I respectfully, respectfully always acknowledge you the people. You the people gave me a blessing and made me your state senator for the 33rd district. And you the people and my colleagues in the Senate gave me the absolute privilege of becoming the first Latino majority leader in the history of this legislature in New York State and of the Bronx. And I thank you every day for that honor and privilege. That's right. That's right. Man. Amen. Amen. Every day we're confronted with real people issues. Real people issues. Real people issues are issues of jobs. Real people issues are issues of housing. Real people issues are issues of rights. Domestic worker rights, farm worker rights, and the fact that every worker has its own dignity and struggle, and we respect that. And we in the legislature have a long ways to go, not only as a majority conference, a Democratic majority conference that took hold for the first time in over 40 years. We're just getting started. And I just want every one of my detractors to know that while you can knock us down, while you can selectively prosecute us, you do not understand the level of our conviction, the level of our resolve. We will keep bouncing back every single time. Yeah. Yeah. We are unafraid. We are unafraid. We are undaunted. We will not be set back. You can knock us down, but every time you knock a Pedro down, every time you knock a Javerendo Ruben Diaz down, there's a family here of Mexicanos, of Puerto Ricanos, of Dominicanos, who are there, who are there to pick us up and say, let's keep fighting. And so today, for those Democrats, those elite Democrats that have vowed to disenroll this lifetime Democrat, for those of you who want to take me out of office, yeah. one word for you. One arsenal that I always have had, and I thank you every day for that. And that is, God is in me. God speaks to us and All protects right. us. No matter how many times, New York Post, you will say that I'm anti-Catholic. I am a Christian. I am Catholic. I am God-fearing. And I have God on my side.
somebody up in mind. And more thousand Democrats and more to come that have said, you will not disenroll us. You will not disenfranchise us. We want federal on the ballot. He is our Democrat. He is our 